We are here in Yosemite Valley. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. There's this beautiful fog mist that's covering the meadow. It's really cool to be here this early in the morning. We have this beautiful backdrop with lower and upper Yosemite Falls in our background. I've never been here this early, so I'm really excited. We're gonna go check out lower Yosemite Falls and then who knows what else we're gonna do. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Dreaming in colors I never dreaming Oh yeah We are on our way to Lower Yosemite Falls It's a small little walk Great for people who don't want to do a big hike But they still want to see a great view Because it's still a pretty big fall Get a little wet just because at the bottom of the waterfall, the mist and the water sprays up. But check this out. Yosemite Falls, super easy hike, beautiful view. I don't think you could beat it. Not really. Nope. Come early, you don't have to deal with like 400 people crowding the bridge. So you it's, get it all to yourself. It's currently like, what, 6.40 yeah. in the morning? And it is like, there's only a few, like two people here. It's just beautiful. All right, we are done with Yosemite Falls. We are headed to Glacier Point because there's this one photo that I want to snag of my car. Check my Instagram to see if you uh, can spot the super cool photo of Glacier Point with my car. Hopefully we get it. And then we're going to pick up my mom, come back down to the valley and go to Mirror Lake. So I would definitely recommend coming down to the valley before sunrise. That way you get the really cool mist through all the meadows. You get to see all the deer coming in and out of the mist. And you pretty much have the entire valley to yourself, which is also very nice. So definitely a recommended adventure if you can wake up that early. I second that. Wake up early, get here, enjoy the park while there's hardly anybody around, and experience the beauty without the noise pollution of people. We just arrived at Mirror Lake. Here is our setup. There's my beautiful mother. There's Steven. The lake is extremely dry to this time around. Uh, not very much water. The last few times that we've been here, it's been significantly full, but this time it's not. Let's have some fun. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of breathing. All right, we are headed out for the day. We are going to Pahono Trail to Sentinel Dome as our hike. It's about, what, what was it? Two point? About three miles. Oh, uh, it was about three miles with about 800 feet elevation gain. It is south entrance if you're headed toward Glacier Point, just a little bit before the end. Some great views and we're excited. Let's go. I like your taste in dunes and everything you
All right, we are at the trailhead. We are parked on the side of the street due to COVID in Yosemite. They don't have any of the shuttles running. So we are on the main street, just pulled off to the side. As you can see, lots of Subies here. Subie gang is strong in Yosemite National Park. All right, time to sunscreen on up. gonna do a fit check check out that the hiking outfit boots rei twins socks rei these beautiful leggings courtesy of kara also rei top is walmart hat can you guess rei all set ready to go let's go hike Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in and It's already hot out I'm already breathing heavy To check for monsters in my streets Yeah, high school was hard You fight with my mom Friendly reminder, don't forget to drink up There is Sentinel Dome right there. That is where we are headed. There it is, there's Sentinel Dome. Looks like a big old booby. The final ascent to the top of Sentinel Dome. We are at the top of Sentinel Dome. We made it. Lunch time at the top of Sentinel Dome, beautiful view. Um, I have an Uncrustable because I am a lazy chef. And it's delicious, and I don't regret it. What do you have, Stephen? Honey roasted ham with Colby Jack cheese and some mayo and mustard. Nice. Because I'm not a lazy chef. <laughs> it's true, he's not a lazy chef. He actually made me a sandwich too, but I just like Uncrustables. She's being a lazy eater. I'm being a lazy eater. Yeah, or I should say I'm being a lazy healthy person. Don't care. And you know you're at elevation when your chip bag is like <laughs> fat. It's so inflated. All right, we are finished up here. We ate our lunch and now we're gonna go back to the park. All right, we have finished Sentinel Dome. We are headed back. As you can see, maybe Sentinel Dome is behind us. Beautiful, beautiful view, full 360. Really awesome. Happy we did this. Just so you guys know, we uh, we come to Yosemite just about every single year. At least I've been coming here with my family for a family trip for the last eight years now. So, done a lot of trails in Yosemite. A lot of the big ones. Never done Half Dome, but for the most part, done close to all of the rest of them. So that would probably be why we are doing the smaller hike, which is Sentinel Dome. Haven't done this one yet, so. That would be why we're doing this one instead of your typical like mish trail yosemite falls that you'll probably see on other youtube channels but we're different right yeah <laughs> built different <laughs> how uh how was it for you steven not that bad uh the breeze was nice 
the view was fantastic. You had everything from a uh, tunnel view going into the valley to El Capitan to all of Yosemite Falls, upper, middle, lower, over the North Dome, Half Dome, Clouds Rest, Nevada Falls. You can see it all from up there. It's actually definitely underrated. T, pretty epic. Underrated. Underrated. Next stop, we are headed to Glacier Point. It's just a nice little drive. And you also kind of get the same view, but you're a sentinel, you get to be a little higher. Glacier, you're a little lower, but it's not a 360, so still do sentinel. However, Glacier Point, here we come. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find the light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. And now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight, what a time to be alive. Just you and I. Just finished at Glacier Point. Got some pretty cool views. Now we're heading back to the cabin and to make some dinner and shower up. We just saw a bear. We actually saw two bears. Uh, all thanks to Stephen over here. He is amazing at spotting things. I think that's just the Marine Corps in him, or it's just him. Anyways, every single time we've been to Yosemite, like I said, we've been to Yosemite for about eight years for myself, four years for Steven, and he points out a bear every time we're here. Never fails. Every single time we've ever shown up, he has always spotted the bears. And it's always been two of them. Yeah, they're just so precious. I mean, yeah, they can like totally rip you to shreds and eat you, but beside the point, they were just, they were just chilling. They were just eating some grass, being like bears. It's just so peaceful to see them in their environment. It's really cool and they are beautiful creatures. We are back at the cabin. We stopped by one of the gift shops and I got some stickers. Absolutely love stickers. Um, I don't put them on anything. I'm just obsessed. I buy a ton of stickers and I have a whole bag that I put them in, but I don't put them on anything. I wanted to show you what I got. So first sticker that I got was Camp More. It's Got this pretty little salmon color on it and I thought it would be perfect for the Yeti cooler that we have. So this is probably the only sticker I'm gonna put on something. The other one that I have is Saturday Night Lights Yosemite and it's this really pretty lantern. The other one my mom got as well and I saw that she was getting it and I loved it so I got it for myself. It says sleep outside with some trees. The other one that I have is Take Me to the Woods and it is this pretty little sticker. This one's my favorite. So yeah, I have all the stickers, I really love them. Super excited to not put them on anything. <laughs> if you have any stickers, you can send me some because I love stickers. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, we're back at the cabin. It's Sunday, we're leaving tomorrow. So this brings us to an end. If you liked the content, if you're here for the goodbye, I appreciate you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in the content. I have plenty more videos planned, not just camping, but my next video is going to be off-roading. So you get to see me, the Subi, and you get to see what it can do. Thank you so much for watching. This is a goodbye. So one thing that was kind of really annoying when we saw those bears was that somebody decided that everybody was like slowing down because they obviously knew that something was there because we were all standing out there. But somebody saw it and was like annoyed that a bunch of people are slowing down on the road and they started revving their engines really loud. They started honking their horns extremely loud because they're trying to scare the bear away so that people wouldn't pull over, people wouldn't slow down. And personally, I think those people are assholes. Like, people are in a national park. They're here to experience nature. They're here to enjoy what it offers and to be able to see 
such an amazing beast out in the wild in their natural environment is like a once in a lifetime experience for a lot of people thankfully we've seen it multiple times but you know to ruin somebody else's experience I, you're not my kind of people if that's you like there's no rush you're on vacation just relax that's life it's a national park you're going to see wildlife uh just enjoy it while you have it don't ruin everybody else's experience in nature because that in my opinion is not cool well uh that's my two cents for the day enjoy nature and let other people enjoy it as well